Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the text field in Material UI. I am very sure that you also use the normal HTML uh, input text field also. And But there is a problem that this is not looking very nice as uh, compared to the text field. And if you just want to uh, make it looking attractive, then you have to just write a lot of CSS. But in case of Material UI text field, you don't need to write any kind of CSS and it provides a lot of props then just pass the props to the text field and you will feel the look and UI is a very great right so now let's uh, see the points of the video first of all we will import the text field then we will see that how we can uh, add the placeholder and can change the look and feel with the props then uh, uh, we can just uh, change the type of text field then uh, we, how we can get the value of text field and how we can use in, it with the multi line and full width and much more right so now let's get started so just start with the app.js and first of all let's import it just write here import something from and just simply write here iterate material UI and just simply write here text field right and let's just you uh, use this text field like this also it should be the text field right and uh, without any props you will also see that uh, there is a nice UI there is a one you can see that the bottom border or uh, underline which when we just write it uh, it will just look nice and uh, let's see that how we can add a place placeholder to it right so for that we need to add a property here and this property name is label basically right so just put here like enter name and all right and now you can see that and whenever you just setting the focus on it then you can see that this is just scroll up here right and it's really looking nice wow great so just put some name and now the enter name label or you can say that the placeholder will be uh, stick on the top right that's great all right so now how we can change the color and all so for that let's say just use the color property and just provide here secondary color by default primary color is here now you can see that the color is reddish or you can see that it's the little bit dark pink and all right and uh, another thing uh, how we can add the variance all right we didn't provide the you can say that the border and the field kind of things right so if we just put here filled then uh, you will see that you have a kind of box with the gray color and you can also use it here outlined like this nice and now you can see that this is looking really really great which is the as compared to the previous uh, variant right and uh, now let's see uh, let's say you just want to use it in the multi line so now if we just want to write some text and want to put in the next line and it is not actually working but if you use here multi line then you can see that it's working with the next line also right that's great and uh, with that you can also use the full width so just write here full width provided the complete width that he can grab on the our parent its parent right now you can see that his parent is completely body so that it will just coming to the complete uh, you can see that the window right let's just remove the off both of things we don't need it uh, now let's come back here okay so now let's see how we can uh, just change the type of it so just put here type if you use your password then you will see that it will just show the dots rather than the character right if you just use the number um, my bad then uh, you can see that it will just only accept the numbers if you just want to try the a b and c is not working one two three and minus is right actually working right so after that um, what we can just use also let's say how we can get this value to a function so for that let's use our own change 
event and function name let's say get data or any function name whatever you want define this function as an const get data and this data actually have an arrow function and here just write here console dot warn and simply put here e here e means event and it will have the all events of it e dot target dot value right now whenever or whatever you will put in this field then it will you will show see this in the uh, console dot warn also so just put here and then you can see that this is working fine here so that's all about the placeholder if you still have any kind of confusion ah sorry this is all about the text field if you still have confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care